Happy Kwanzaa, a celebration of family, community, and culture. It's 2015, and once again, we are celebrating Kwanzaa. The Seven Principles. The first principle is Umoja, unity. The second is Kujajaja, self-determination. The third is Ujima, collective works and responsibility. The fourth is Ujama, cooperative economics. The fifth is Nia, purpose. The sixth is Kumba, creativity. The seventh is Imani, faith. Umoja, unity, to strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Welcome. Umoja. To Kwanzaa. And I want to say happy birthday to my dad, who's also born on the first day of Kwanzaa. You know I don't believe in coincidences. Jagalia. Number two, self-determination. To define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. Kuji Jagalia. Kuji Jagalia. Kuji Jagalia. Before you stand a man with a bunch of children, teaching them the principles of Kwanzaa hey, this one as Sarah, he set the table with the fruit and the vegetables symbolizing a good harvest. She has the candlestick with the seven candles, three green on the right, three red on the left, and in the middle, the black candle, which we light on the first day. He has books of history or poetry by known black artists. At this point, you can also talk about um, family. Ujima, Orima, collective works and responsibility to build and maintain our community together and make our sisters and brothers' problems our problems and to solve them together. Ujima is the third principle of Kwanzaa. Ujima, cooperative economics to build and maintain our own stores, shops, and other businesses and to profit from them together. I like that. Unity. That's what we need, brother and sister. The fifth principle is Nia, purpose, to make our collective vocation the building and developing of our community in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. And vocation means job, career. Have you decided 
what you want to do with your life today. Nina. Six, Kumba, creativity. To do always as much as we can in the way we can in order to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. And I hope you're enjoying the fact that I have included you in my family Kwanzaa today. Kumba. And that you're learning. Hey, this one na sara sara. The beat is tarantana. You go make you manya manya. Ines is in my stand. Imani. Faith. To believe with all our hearts in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. Imani is the seventh principle of Kwanzaa. During this time you have a family gathering, food, activities. Imani. Here you see me in we're having a fashion show. His and her outfits. Just some of the things that you can incorporate with Kwanzaa. Remember, Kwanzaa, the festival, allows you to be as creative as you like. Imani, faith, to believe with all our heart in our people, our parents, our teachers, our leaders, and the righteousness and victory of our struggle. Imani is the seventh principle of Kwanzaa. During this time, you have family gathering, food, activity. Many people are under the impression that Dr. Karenja developed Kwanzaa to give us a new festival. Yes, he did. Because when he looked around, he saw the Jews celebrate the Harvest Festival. And many other cultures celebrate the Harvest Festival. So what did he do? He went to Africa and found that even in Africa, they celebrated the Harvest Festival. So he felt that Black Americans needed a tr new tradition that they could follow that would empower them to let them know that they are valuable, that they are worth something. And so he created Kwanzaa for America. And in creating Kwanzaa for us, he also made it available not just for black, for whites, for any nationality. And that's what makes Kwanzaa special. Uh, but yet and still, what he did, he tried to instill purpose in black Americans, a tradition that we did not have to practice Christmas, so to say, where the birth of Jesus was a lie. So, again, when we look into the Jewish traditions, we see that they had harvest festivals. And that's what he used. A harvest festival from Africa. Was he trying to replace Jesus in our lives? No. A Christian can celebrate Kwanzaa. 
But yet, we are to remember that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is knocking at our door. Will you welcome him?